The compositing tag can really help fix troublesome scenes. And what I mean by that is you can turn on and off various functions of the renderer on a per object basis. We've seen how the compositing tag can be used to hide objects from the camera's view. We have that here with the sky object here. It's being hidden. It's not seen by the camera, but we can do more with it. Let's take a look at how we would remove this ground reflection because it's clashing with the reflection of the environment. So we'll just twirl this up and select our ground and we'll right click and choose Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing. Okay, so with this, we can then look at what we want to turn off and we want to turn off the scene by reflection. So if I turn that off, that's a global switch. And so it won't be seen by any of these other objects. Now there's various other things we can look at here. You can force anti-aliasing on a per object basis. You can stop objects from casting shadows. If you're using global illumination or ambient occlusion, you can change those settings here too. Let's have a look at another method of excluding objects. So if I just turn that back on and let's say that we don't want every single object in the scene to not have the ground reflected in it. That's just a simple scenario. So we'll find the object in question here and just drag in that. So you say, okay, you are going to be excluded from, if they're checked on, you're going to be excluded from transparency, you're going to be excluded from refraction, and you're going to be excluded from reflection and anything in your hierarchy is as well. So you can just toggle these switches, but let's just back up and come through our scene. And this is going to be a kind of bumper. So we're going to say, here's our up next show. And this is going to be what's on the screen. And okay, so we've got that ground reflection clashing with the screen as well. So what I might like to do is just remove this and just come back and use that global switch. And then hopefully that will be fixed. And so whatever we're going to put on our screen is going to be pristine. So we can come back through here and let's talk about other properties of this compositing tag. So when we're going to render this out, we can give ourselves a lot of control in post and we can do that by using object buffers. So let's say that this text, we might be a client request that we need to change its color at the last minute and there'll be no time to render everything out. So with a compositing tag, we can set up a map for it and we can be ahead of the game. So what we could do now is right click and choose Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, and we will set up an object buffer for this object. So we can enable object buffer one and we can, we'd have to set that up in our render settings, which we'll look at in a minute. But now we can isolate this object. So we may want to do that for the other text as well. So we can just command, click and drag to make a copy. And I'll drop that on the coming up text and change the object buffer. And then maybe we'd want another one for the cube behind it, because that could change color also. And twirl these up and maybe we'd create one for our screen, just so we've got it isolated and we'll just create a new tag for that. And I think we're on object buffer four. So I'll just double check. Yes, so we're on object buffer four. And you can keep going, adding these. You can basically have as much control as you want. You can go overboard. So just think about what you'd actually need and set them accordingly. So maybe we just set you know, one more just for this. So that'd be object buffer five. Now, thinking about this screen, we can of course put an animated texture on here, but that wouldn't be very flexible because then we'd have to keep rendering it out every single time. And what we can do is use external compositing tags to help us. So when you create a compositing project file, such as with the AEC workflow, which we'll discuss shortly, you can include 3D data. So that'll be your lights and your cameras, and you can have null objects. And these are set with the external compositing tag. So any object that has the external compositing tag applied will become a null or a solid if you choose that option. So you can see if we just look at our camera quickly and come down here, you can see it has export to compositing checked and the same with our lights as well. 
they'll all go through to After Effects, for example. So what we can do, we want our screen to have an external compositing tag on because then we can say we can know the exact point in 3D space where that solid should be and with the camera move it'll all match up. So what we'll do is we'll right click and we'll choose Cinema 4D Tags, External Compositing and because I know that the object, if I look here, I can see it's 650 by 370, I'm going to make a solid which is 640 by 360 and then I can use that in After Effects to comp with. This could also be a null, so what we'll do is we'll just create another tag on the show details and the idea behind this would be we'll just keep it as a null object and then we could attach maybe text to it or something like that and then that would just all come along for the ride with the camera move you see. So that was a look at how we'd use the compositing tag to fix troublesome scenes and how we can prepare objects for external compositing.